it is becoming clear to most reasonable Americans that Donald Trump is the head of a criminal empire. More than half of Americans believe he committed crimes before he took office and for good reason. Public testimony alleges that Trump is guilty of bank fraud, insurance fraud and tax evasion. But, a curious report today raises questions about the worst of the worst rumors about Donald Trump. The Miami Herald is reporting today that Donald Trump watched the Super Bowl with the founder of the spa that has been alleged to hold young Asian women against their will and force them to perform sexual acts. Yes, Donald Trump apparently watched the Super Bowl with the founder of the spa where Robert Kraft, who owns one of the teams that played in the game, allegedly paid for sex. As a Keen Palmer report reader observed last week, Mar-a-Lago, Donald Trump's favorite winter destination, is very close to the spot in question. In fact, Mar-a-Lago is only about 20 miles away. So, when news about this Florida spa that is allegedly a front for sex trafficking first broke, we knew that another one of Donald Trump's friends was charged with sex crimes. Then, We curiously discovered that Trump's favorite vacation spot is surprisingly close to the location his friend allegedly frequented to solicit illegal sex. Now we are learning that Trump knows and socializes with the founder of the spa. Are these things all coincidences? Or could all of the rumors be true? The Trump modeling agency, the Russian PP tape, the allegations of rape and sex parties hosted by Jeffrey Epstein? The Miami Herald is simply reporting that Donald Trump watched the Super Bowl with the founder of a day spot alleged to be a front for human sex trafficking, but it's enough to make me rethink all of the allegations levied against Trump over the years and his penchant for socializing with sex offenders. As Rod Rosenstein said in a speech he delivered yesterday, to know a person's character, consider his friends.